Now, Illumination has been on a pretty good winning streak lately. Like, Minions, The Rise of Gru, the Mario movie, surprisingly, Migration. So, yeah, what would they cook for Despicable Me 4? That was the second most mid movie I've ever seen. The most mid movie I've ever seen was Kung Fu Panda 4, if you were wondering. So, yeah. This movie was fine. Ooh, okay. And let's get on to the plot real quick. During Gru's high school days, there was this talent show going on. And this person, because he's French, I would like to call him Zeta Roach, was going to do a talent or something, and then Gru took it. Now he wants revenge ever since. Fast forward some years later, he arrests Zeta Roach in front of so many people, and then he threatened to kill Gru and dox his information. Okay, obviously that's false. So then Gru has to live a double life, and... So then there's like this side plot with this ginger that um, does a heist with Gru to get a honey badger. And if he doesn't, then he will expose the entire world who he really is. Oh god. So then they steal a honey badger from Gru's, Gru's um, old school. Then the principal shows up and almost kills them. And then he... She gives the information to Zid Roach to find him. And then, yeah, things happen. Climax, like the shortest climax I've ever seen in a movie happens. And, yeah. Also, you know the Mega Minion? Actually, no, I shouldn't call that that. The Mega Marketable Minions? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, well, they barely do anything in this movie. Like, there's this side plot with a whole bunch of minions in the AVL. Then the... Mega marketable minions start popping up. They don't do anything. They just like uh, pummel the roach and like Zid Roach in like the last couple minutes. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically a movie in a nutshell. So there was some references in there, like um. It, like there was the ma there was some villains from the Minions movie, and the Ginger referenced when Gru stole the crown in Minions, and um, uh, I guess there was like an entire dance sequence playing. Everybody wants to rule the world. I know exactly why they played that. Like there was all the villains from all the Despicable Me movies dancing. And, and, yeah, the sense, wait, hey, wait a minute, Agnes has the goat lucky, right? Meaning the third movie is canon, so why is Ramsbottom still the CEO of ABL? Shouldn't it be Miss Valerie Da Vinci, you know, from the third movie? I isn't she supposed to be the CEO now? The comedy was not that good. Basically, during the double life scene, Gru was like amazed by the many witch houses they were gonna get. Oh, and guess what? They got the poor person house. Yeah, that's totally not predictable. That never happened in any other movie at all. It definitely didn't happen in Inside Out, which the sequel was coming out. Like, just as that movie was released. Yeah, they were totally not talking inside out with the humor there. Then there are these scenes with the baby, like, not loving Gru. Um, okay, I thought that was kind of funny, to be honest. Like, I like the little baby's expressions. <laughs> and, of course, minion humor. There's, like, this entire scene of the mega marketable minions trying to save the day but plot twist they don't they end up ruining the town and then were placed in retirement according to Bram's bottom man how what a funny what a funny and unpredictable joke 
This movie feels so forgettable. Like, I can barely remember what happened in this movie, like, at all. I guess there's that one scene where he turns a, um, convenience store clerk into a cockroach. Actually, that was pretty terrifying, not gonna lie. Yeah, the comedy isn't that good. The only thing that made me laugh was the baby's face, facial expression. Okay, so, yeah, this is where I say my overall rating. So, well, it wasn't a flop as much as Despicable Me 3. It wasn't as meh as Despicable Me 2. And it definitely wasn't on the same level as Despicable Me 1. Absolutely not. It will never be topped. It is just meh. So I'm going to be rating it a 6.1 out of 10. That feels appropriate. Hey, by the way, I have this song. You should check it out, like, right now. Okay, goodbye, Tri-State Area.